All right, we're gonna take a first look at Avatar Pandora Rising, which is not out. Right now it's currently only available in New Zealand. And so what I did is I created a New Zealand iTunes account, which is kind of tricky. And I was able to start playing this. I understanding that this game should be out uh, soon. Uh, in fact, there's a link down in the description. If uh, you watch the video and you think it's something you might be interested, you could uh, sign up for their newsletter, or you can go to the trouble and uh, download the game and get a New Zealand account and all that good stuff. But anyhow, um, just want to say this: this is not really my style of game. I mean, there's a lot of um, base building and waiting for things to upgrade and things like that. But I do like the gameplay when you actually go into battle, uh, which a lot of these base builder games do not have. So. If this video helps you determine whether or not you want to play this game or not, even if you say, ah, I don't like the style of the game, leave a like if it just helped you make any kind of decision. And I'm just going to go through the basic gameplay. So what I'm going to do right now is there's daily goals, and I'm just going to go through all the goals. Looks like I have done all the daily goals, so I will uh, collect them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, farming some things right here. i got to push that on. You can see that those pieces are available uh, in a couple hours, so I'm just basically uh, putting all of my refineries and factories to work. And so it looks like we need to farm that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to go battle NPCs, or I could battle an actual person, or I could gather it with uh, one of my commanders. So what I think I want to do here is I want to actually battle uh, an NPC. We'll do that first. And we'll go on the map and we'll target that there. And we will contest that right there and we're going to go to work and we're going to battle them. It's going to take me seven seconds to fly over there and I'm playing the the bad guys, the RDA instead of the Navi and uh, okay I'm going to hit the battle button and then this is going to take me into like a, a battle screen which uh, the AI will play it for me if I don't go into battle but uh, the AI does not play nearly as uh, well as I would do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to set up some troops in the back, uh, way in the back, and uh, those are like rocket troops. Uh, what I'm looking for mostly, uh, let's put those guys in the back, is I'm looking for uh, that guy right there. Okay, I'm gonna drop him as soon as I can. That's kind of like the, the tank uh, that soaks up a lot of damage. Let's just sick him right there in the front. And then I have a uh, helicarrier that targets only la land units, and there's like counters to everything. Oh, it looks like I'm walking through this turret right here. Um, yeah, we're going to drop that right there. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put down a defensive turret here because they're kind of beating me up a little bit. Let's do that. And I can actually drop units inside of that. You can see it has two green dots, and then I can drop those guys right into it. And so they all go inside. So now I've got three units, and that's kind of nice because that saves them. Uh, looks like I'm just beating them down over there. Uh, I'm going to just save my energy and to see what happens. Um, no rush. I can kind of slow play this here. All right, let's put these down here. Okay, we're going to start a push here. Uh, let's see here. Let's keep them in front of all those. Drop him in the front. And then I've got, like, uh, all the units behind. And then they will also protect the helicopter, who is kind of uh, just only targets... Uh, the base. Now, you can play both factions. Uh, right when you go in the loading screen, you can toggle between Navi or the RDA. Uh, I chose the RDA because um, they're cutting down trees and shocking sharks. I'll show you in the minute. I just think that's funny for some reason. Because <laughs> I'm twisted like that, I guess. Uh, but it's, it's about building a base. And my understanding is that over time... Uh, this game becomes very complicated with the guilds and your alliance in and having this whole uh, interaction and politics. Uh, that's what I've been told is that that's what this game really is about at the end of the day. Uh, but right now I'm just kind of going through and I'm building up. I want to upgrade my units. Uh, the nice thing about it, too, is I notice is that in some of these games right here, you, like, build up units, and you say you get 10,000 units, and then they'll die, and then you have to redo them. This is more based off of, like, a card system, where I upgrade the cards, and then I always take the cards into battle every time. Uh, so I'm upgrading the cards, uh, and I'm just going to upgrade the cards that I like the most currently, okay? 
Uh, for different reasons, I like these ones. I like this guy here, too. Uh, let's, boy, I had a lot of stuff to upgrade. Uh, let's see. I think it's because I just upgraded my training bay, and so that gave me a lot of opportunity to do that. All right, let's click on all the red dots. And then right here, we need to repair. Uh, that, that's my attacker. And this guy right here is a farmer. Boy, he must have attacked. He must have got attacked when uh, I was uh, away. And then let's see. Let's upgrade this guy right here. He's number eleven. Bookworm gather speed. So, uh, let's do a gather speed. That seems like a useful one. Uh, I haven't figured out all the mechanics in the game, uh, but I've been enjoying playing it so far. But I, I'm going to be completely frank right here. Is that a lot of it is about building the base, and uh, let's see, we're gonna upgrade that, and let's see, that's a unit that I have to build, but I don't think I can build it until I take my command center higher, and so I'm gonna upgrade my command center. I need some, uh, looks like I need 5,000 credits. Uh, there's a way of converting uh, the raw materials into credits. Ugh, I don't look, I, looks like I'm short. All of those resources, uh, so I would have to go and battle and or farm them. Uh, let's see if there's something else I can upgrade in the meantime so that that unit is not left idle. Uh, I think I need credits more than anything else. Um, well, let's go find this. Let's do another battle. We'll search that down. Uh, I can pretty much go up against anything up to about level 16 and then I run into trouble. Uh, this one's 11. Uh, I've got 80 energy. That cost me 20 energy right there. And I technically right now have uh, two units, or I should really have one farming, another one battling, and then when I run out of the energy there at the top, which right now says 60, so that means I've got three more of these that I can do before I have to wait. And then once I've all gone with those, I can either refresh with the refresh cards, or, uh, I can just put out two units to farm and set the phone down, and that's, that's why I say that I think that playing both factions kind of makes a lot of sense, because, uh, right now I, I find that I could play the game for, I don't know, a couple minutes here, uh, probably the length of this video, and then I'll be done. And then I'll have to come back in like three hours or whatever the timer says. Oh boy, boy, they, look at that, they countered me. Ugh, I don't like that. Um, I'm just gonna sit and let that guy die. I'm kind of waiting to make a strong push. Um, I'm almost at max energy, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that right there. And then I will drop the units all right, well, they're coming in. Let's just drop the units in there. Oh, no, it killed it. All right, let's put that guy in the front. And uh, we got to get the, the tank in the front, and then we'll put my DPS behind it. All right, uh, let's put some more units down. All right, oh, my tank is not going fast enough. Uh, run, run up there. Hmm, I don't know if I like this. Okay, so we're in uh, double energy right now. Okay, and then as soon as I get to nine, I will drop my carrier, which is an air unit that only hits the ground, and that'll target their base. And as long as I have, um, you know, like you can see above me, the clock right there, 40 seconds left, it's one to zero. Oh, let's throw that unit right there. Let's throw that right there. Actually, we're just going to do a full swarm. I think this match is pretty much over, so I'm just going to drop all my units right now. But as long as I come out, like, uh, higher points, I'll win. And so... I can actually choose to just let it do it on its own, like an autoplay and the match, but I, but it won't come out as, won't turn out as well. Okay, so let's go back to the base and we're gonna try to get some more credits. Uh, that's kind of the goal right now, uh, cause I need 5,000 to upgrade that command center. Okay, so I'll show you why I chose the bad guys. Uh, cause usually we've got a little guy right here, chainsaw cutting down trees. I like cutting down trees. And then I'm just being silly. And then this guy here will shock that eel or whatever it is. Oh man, torturing animals is always fun. I'm, I'm being sarcastic. It's just interesting to me. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, they're the bad guys are the bad guys. Why not? But I think at the end of the day, uh, the way this game is set up is you're supposed to play both. Uh, why don't we find that right there? Oh, I can get some there. Oh, I have to craft. I can't actually actively. Well, I guess I can. Uh, buy those resources. Let's see, let's uh, go and uh, attack that right there. I'm just gonna basically go through what I would do every day until I run out of energy and I have to just wait till the next day. Let's heal up my commander before we go into battle. Heal, and then now we can go in 
and contest battle. It says it's a fair battle. All right, we're gonna see how that goes. 12 seconds before I my dropship arrives, and you can see that this world is very large and just gets bigger and bigger, and I have no idea where any of that is now. It's gonna alert me when I've arrived right there, and then I can go right into battle, otherwise the AI will do it. Let's hit the battle button. And this should be a fair battle, so we'll see how this goes down. And I can build decks, and I can uh, try different units, and I get more units, and I upgrade them, uh, and so on and so on. So I'm gonna, oh, I hate, I don't like that. Uh, those ones right there are like a little cargo things, uh, drop units, and then um, it kind of like they, just keep going and going and going. Um, oh, they're not gonna be slow enough. I was kind of hoping that, oh yeah, that's good, that works out well. Oh no, they uh, put down bees, I think, and the bees are like uh, poisonous gas, uh, just killing all my units. Oh my goodness, we need more firepower. Let's drop that in the background. Uh, am I gonna survive this? Uh, kind of keep pushing. Oh boy, I've got a super slow push it. Okay, that right there is like a Grenader that kind of like AoEs and splash damage. Uh, if he can, goes off right there, he will, uh, no, he died. Okay. I, it looks like I got killed off by, um, by the gas or the bees or whatever. I guess I haven't used that card myself, like the poison gas. Energy boost. Okay. So I'm going to drop my units in the back. That's just the strategy I like is to kind of, uh, slow play and get a big push. Oh, they're the bees are killing me off. All right, drop off my heavy armor to soak up some damage. Oh, the rockets. Okay, um, how do I want to do this? 40 seconds left. All right, we need more units on the ground. Let's drop some ground units. And then we'll be back up to nine energy. Oh my goodness. They're, they're just countering everything. And that's where I haven't learned all the mechanics in the game is what counters what. Uh, how to play the game correctly. Right now, I'm uh, kind of guessing. Okay, let's see if we can get that down. Oh, no, they dropped down a... Uh, so I can't push to their back base. Although, I only have to stall for another 15 seconds, and then I win this match, so I can do nothing right now. Uh, just hang out and wait. Okay, so six seconds. I guess it doesn't matter. I can just throw these units down. Uh, the match is pretty much over, and that is that. Winner! Fantastic! Okay. Uh, let's see if I can build anything. My goodness, I feel like I, I need more resources. Um, maybe I need to upgrade my buildings that uh, produce things. I think that's what I'm gonna do. A uh, green arrow there means I can upgrade it. Oil Derrick, uh, let's upgrade that, and that takes two hours. And let's see if I have any speed boosts. Oh, uh, I do not have speed boosts. Okay, so uh, once I get all of these units right here, basically, building. I'm going to start farming. See, those are all up and running. Let's take a look at this one right here. Oh, we definitely need more of those. Let's crap. We need more of those. Okay. So I have a little bit more of energy and then I've got 41. And when I get down to uh, zero, uh, then I will just uh, send out my miners and then I'll be done. And normally if I was playing both factions, that's when I would switch over to the other faction which would be a completely separate game. It's like two games in one. I'd be in a different alliance and I'd be playing with different people and I'd have different strategies and so on. Uh, but I do like that it's not me just building up like all these armies and they all get, you know, someone attacks my base and steals all my resources. Now, something I have not done in this video is attacked another person. In fact, I think I'll do that in the last battle. Okay, we're gonna set him way in the back. I wish I had another unit like that, like in my deck. Uh, all right, um, who do I want to set behind him? Let's put these behind him. All right, uh, oh, I should get a great push right here because they've got, uh, we're gonna kind of get stalled behind this unit here and I'm thinking that this will snowball right here or st I don't know what the right word is. Uh, yeah, look at this, we got a good push. As long as they don't drop the bees, uh, no bees. Or oh, actually they have poison gas because we're playing against RDA. It's the Navi that have the bees. All right, uh, let's drop my uh, my direct damage on their base. And I think I'm just gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna drop another, uh, there we go, amp. Oh yeah, soak it up, take it. All right, I think I can get one more right here and we'll finish this off. Here we go. Trooper squad is, we, we, we boy, we, uh, we blew through them, woof, all right. Maybe I do have the strategy down. I don't know. I just uh, starting to figure it out. We're having fun. Okay. 
Uh, so I'm gonna continue mining my resources and I will click all the red dots on the screen. Okay, let's see here. This is what we were on. This is uh, needed to upgrade my units, all of these uh, materials here. Oh, we still need more of those. Uh, let's see what we have here. We have enough to get that started. Okay, so we're running low on resources. Let's heal her up. And I'm gonna attack another person. Now, if that person was online, they could actively uh, participate in the battle. Uh, and then you're gonna see, I gotta get a whole bunch of them now. This is a level 13. I'm probably gonna lose right here. Actually, I don't know how this is gonna play out. We're gonna try it. Uh, see now, if they were online, uh, they would, uh, be able to respond to this. So you can see right there, it says heading to battle. That'll be in nine minutes. Uh, we're not going to do that here in this video, but if they were online, they could respond to that and actually play. Like they can get a notification on their phone and then they could actively play the battle instead of just, uh, um, oh, someone says, All right, hi, are you OMG from MSF? Yes, I am. <laughs> someone figured out who I was and they sent me a message. But if they're not online, uh, I'm going to have an easier chance of beating them because I can control my units instead of just playing against the AI. Uh, so I think I've done everything here. I can request units. Let's, let's see, why don't we request these blues? And then I could donate uh, anything that I have extras of right here. All right, we donated some of that. Okay, and I'm gonna go back into my base and I'm going to send off for the unit that, I, I think I just need more of these. I'm gonna find and I'm gonna send my commander there uh, to farm them. Uh, I can only have, right now I can only have two out at a time. So I'm gonna hit mine and then he will mine for a couple hours and then I will have that other uh, base uh, coming online in two hours. So basically uh, I'd be done for right now. Uh, the battle starts in eight minutes. The mining is going to take an hour. And then right there, that's going to be done in two hours. And, uh, this is where I would switch over to the other side and play like two games in one. Um, and I, I'm just going to put this out here. It's not my style of game. Uh, this, this weight thing. Cause I know in other games and I don't know about this game, you know, that number ramps up to like wait two weeks or wait a week. And I, I don't really know how this game is. So the game is out in New Zealand. Uh, you can create a New Zealand iTunes account uh, and you can play this game now or uh, link down to the description where you can sign up on their website and then they will uh, notify you as soon as it's available in your region. But I think it's here pretty soon before the end of the year. All right, guys, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.